The new new map sailed through its first day at the State House in Annapolis, despite strong opposition from Republican lawmakers. Mr. President, this map, while prettier, is nothing more than lipstick on a pig. Maryland's congressional map, Take Two, made its way through the State House on Tuesday, passed quickly by Democrats in the Senate. I wish we had more time. I wish we would have had a more ability to bring lots of folks together, but we were given five days, five days, and we have to get a map to the court tomorrow. This after a circuit court judge threw out the first map, called it unconstitutional, told the General Assembly to do it again. Today, lawmakers and voters got a look at how those eight U.S. House districts were redrawn. In the new version, the first congressional district doesn't cross the Bay Bridge. Districts four and five are more compact. Districts three and seven no longer intertwined. This map is far superior to the map that we passed last December. Um, there's just no comparison between the two. But this map, I believe, still has some infirmities. Still an excessive number of boundary crossings, Republicans said, and the process was secretive. And then not having the opportunity to participate, be a part of this, I believe is very flawed. And that's being nice. GOP lawmakers asking repeatedly, who drew the map? We had DLS staff, our nonpartisan DLS staff, worked the whole weekend putting this map together. One key detail revealed today, but for the most part, leadership stuck to the talking points. At the end of the day, we have a Senate Bill 1012 before us that meets the requirements and is compliant with the, the orders that we're following. Late this afternoon, the Senate president told reporters that the new new map passed by the Senate today would only be enacted if the Court of Appeals upholds the judge's ruling from Friday. He mentioned the appeal more than once. However, late this afternoon, a spokesperson for the attorney general's office tells 11 News no appeal has been filed. In Annapolis, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.